Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Hit the subscribe button if you like coins or banknotes or any of that other weird stuff. But enough about that. In this video, I want to talk about the most valuable baseball card, or really sports card, ever sold for $12.6 million. It's a Mickey Mantle baseball card. Whether you care about baseball or not, that's a ridiculous price. So let's talk more about this card. So if you're a fellow sports fan or collectibles fan like me, then you will be amazed at the prices that were seen for sports cards and collectibles. This thing took place in Dallas. It set a ridiculous amount of records. I mean, millions and millions of dollars worth of stuff was sold. Just to hit a few of the really, really ridiculous highlights that were sold here, I think it'll get you excited if you're not even a baseball fan, because a lot of these names are just so big, both historically and for the sport itself. Most of these cards come from the Rosen Collection, which is a really famous collection. It includes part of the Rosen Find, which took place in 1985, where basically a dude found mint condition tops cards, early tops cards, featuring some of the biggest names in baseball in his attic and sold them to a guy known as Mr. Mint or Alan Rosen out of Hackensack, New Jersey. But the main one here was a Topps Mickey Mantle card that he originally bought for $100 that sold for $12.6 million through Heritage. Now this thing is the finest example of a Mickey Mantle card, especially from this series, but also just early examples of Mickey Mantle cards. It's mint plus 9.5 grade, definitely adds to the massive value for this thing as it's considered mint. It remains the most valuable sports card ever sold at auction. It just smashes records. I think the last one that held the record was around $8 million, but this thing is ridiculously cool. What's crazy is Heritage Auction is going to be beginning the year this year, later this month in January, selling another 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle, but that one's near Mint 8, and a little bit different of a card that they think is going to sell for around eight hundred grand, and not the almost $13 million this one did. A crazier card that's going to hit auction blocks is a scarcer 1952 Topps Jackie Robinson card, but it's also signed by Robinson, which is absolutely wild. There's a lot of these cards that have been sold over the years, like 1,300 of them, but none of them have been signed. But this one is signed by the Brooklyn Dodgers infielder, who's not only just an absolutely phenomenal player, a cool guy, but also, of course, a history maker. It's a good plus 3.5 grade from PSA, so it's not crazy crazy high condition. However, they expect this card to sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Another really awesome card is in the basketball vein, and it's a 1957 Bill Russell card. This thing is really, really cool, and they expect it to sell for a couple thousand dollars. It's also autographed by Bill Russell. And then in the baseball vein, again, is a 1951 Bowman Willie Mays rookie card. That's just absolutely great condition at near mint eight from PSA. This thing is really, really nice card. And the scarcity of this card is just absolutely unquestioned. Only nine unqualified examples have ever been graded higher than this one. Were it not for the slight off centering, which is something you can't even control, the grade would have been even higher. We could go on and on with the cards that are in this auction, like a 1979 Wayne Gretzky rookie card, a 1948 Leaf Satchel Page rookie card, a 1914 Cracker Jack Joe Jackson's card, a 1952 Mickey Mantle. I mean, these things go on and on. There includes full sets, including Tom Brady rookie cards and Michael Jordan's second year offerings. It's ridiculous. Check out the list of these things on my website, varietyairs.com. But more importantly, let me know what you think of these collectibles selling in the comments below. And let me know outside of coins and banknotes what you like to collect. Maybe it's Furbies, maybe it's Beanie Babies, maybe it's cars. Let's talk about it in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.